Hey, welcome back to Landscape Alert, where this week we are going to be designing this front yard that you are seeing right now. Now, the reason why I'm doing this front yard is because, well, two reasons. One, I am stuck home due to the weather, as you can see here. Uh, but the second one, which is more important, is that over the recent years, we've been seeing shortage of water in many parts of the US. And many homeowners are going from full lawns in the front yard or backyard to more zero scape style. So this is gonna be one of those sort of videos. What could you do in terms of design um, where you can essentially remove all this grass and or sod and add other things that would be one water efficient but also nice to be around. So this is a design that I'm working with on this occasion. Of course, this may or may not work for your case. So if it does, great. Um, put your comments below if you want to use any of these things. Um, that would be awesome. But let's get to the design in itself. So being the case that we are removing the whole turf, I thought about maybe having an area where you can potentially sit, you know, have a, a table, a few chairs, an area for flagstone and maybe some time growing in between the flagstones. That would certainly make it nice in an area that's usable without having to completely erase everything green because that's one of the ideas behind a zero scape is to use less water but still have an area where it's actually nice and enjoyable so that's the first thing that i was thinking about doing the second thing is maybe having like a driver or bed again to use it more for a different uh, sizes of stone and colors and at the same time, giving more of that natural look that kind of comes with a driver or bed, um, having some boulders next to it, again, more for height and different of colors. Now, one of the things that I thought about here is having a pathway or stepping stones in this case that will lead you from um, the main sidewalk to the entrance of the house and also allow you to go to the area I mentioned before, which is the flagstone patio. And of course, um, in here, we would use different materials like uh, wood mulch, um, different sizes of stone, granites, river rocks, that would give you, again, that little bit of difference of sizes of stone and colors as well. Now, depending on where you are, you are going to have a very different selection of shrubs and trees. So what I'm gonna be doing this time around is kind of having the idea that if this were to be in the area of say, Kansas, what kind of trees could you potentially use for this area? Of course, you are going to want to think about how close or how far you are going to be putting your shrubs and or tree depending on where your house is. So in this case, I would definitely not put something too big next to the house, but if you were thinking about having a tree that would potentially get pretty big, I would definitely put it a little bit away from the house so you don't have any problems where uh, leaves are falling on your roof and then it's clogging, it's clogging up your gutters. So maybe something like an alpine uh, current uh, maybe something like uh, American Elm, uh, Bur Oak, uh, Hackberry, Honey Locust. Those trees are going to be about 40 feet in height, so also wide. So think about that if you're thinking of using any of these kinds of trees. Maybe something a little smaller if you are thinking next to the house. Maybe something like uh, a thornless um, hawthorn, a Washington hawthorn, uh, maybe a crab apple. I would probably use one of those um, if I were to put it closer to the house of course there are going to be different kinds of uh, evergreens that you can use maybe something like an eastern red cedar uh, junipers of different kinds like a buffalo uh, rugs um, and again it's going to depend and I would definitely use some of these ones just to keep the interest in the winter time again it's going to really depend on where you live um, in terms of uh, different kinds of say um, shrubs um, you definitely have a good selection uh, and you want to think about where you are in terms of how close you may be to areas where there's going to be a lot of animals, say deer, rabbit, that type of thing, uh, where you're going to have to think about some of those shrubs that they are going to like to eat or, you know, mess with, if you will. Um, but that being said, maybe something like a beauty bush, 
um, a lilacs, like a common or Chinese, um, nine barks. You can also do something like a viburnum, a snowball uh, bush, um, some rose of Sharon, which I really like. Um, also some butterfly bushes that would be also very nice, especially to kind of bring all this uh, bees and butterflies to do their magic. And that's going to be in terms of what I was thinking for some of the shrubs. Of course, there are definitely many out there that you can use if you're thinking of maybe something a little smaller. Um, something more close to the ground maybe like a spreading cotton ester that would be also a good idea again many more in terms of a selection um, in terms of say uh, some more grasses i definitely like the big blue stem and also the feathery grasses i would definitely use something uh either one of those for uh, next to the stepping stones um, just because even though they're a little tall a little wide but not that wide where they actually will look really nice next to the stepping stones in terms of perennials well again the selection it's it, it's quite big i would say obviously you are going to have to determine what are your favorite colors and also the sizes um you'll have things like yarrows you'll have like peonies irises um asters uh daylilies uh butterfly weed and well the list continues but that's kind of what i'm thinking for this front yard maybe having a bridge that gonna that maybe goes from the flagstone patio to the other side where you may have on other things um, so this is kind of what i'm thinking and if you're thinking well why not have some edible maybe shrubs that can give us something um you could potentially do that um it's going to depend on your location of your house um, in terms of how much sunlight you are going to get and also how much water you're going to get there um, and also your soil types which i am not talking about this video but i probably will be making a video later on about some of those things um, and of, of course it's going to depend always where you live but that is the design what do you guys think about this um any of these ideas may be good for you let me know in the comments below let me know if you are wanting to use any of the shrubs for your future project don't forget to subscribe to all that youtube stuff that we ask you all the time it does help the channel especially if there's somebody out there that's thinking of redesigning their yards and wants some ideas i definitely like to come in to play if you will and give you some of those ideas to have a nice front or backyard anyways guys don't forget the model here which is dream design create and i will see you guys on the next video take care bye